Hello and welcome my dear students this is Ashton Ashfaq and I welcome you all to the lecture number 4 of the series of operating system lectures and today we are going to introduce the concept of a process and then the PCB the process control block associated with each process and we'll see that uh, what role it plays in the management of a process for the operating system so without wasting any time let's start now first of all let us explain what is a process a program becomes a process when it is loaded in the main memory and assigned resources we all know that our programs are actually permanently stored in the secondary storage or the hard disk to be precise whenever these programs are to be executed a subset of the program stored in the hard disk are transferred into the memory now when it is transferred into the memory it is assigned resources the example of resource is is memory itself is one of the precious resource of the computer system so when a process is transferred from the secondary storage to the memory or to the ram and it is resi assigned resources it becomes a process for the operating system let me repeat when a program is transferred from the secondary storage to the main memory and it is res assigned resources then this program becomes a process from the for the main memory and now this process has to be executed by the cpu so now uh, let's again have a look at the definition program becomes a process when it is loaded in the main memory and assigned resources now example of resources is memory itself that memory itself is a resource and then another the most precious resource the processor in the from the main memory it will be transferred to the processor for exe getting executed so a program with resources is called process i repeat again when a program from secondary storage is transferred to the main memory and it is assigned resources then this program becomes a process for the operating system right what is a pcb then PCB the process control block or task control block it is also called task control block now it is actually you can say a tag or a data structure that is associated with each process it is just like the identity card of the students every student in a college has its own identity card and it uh, identity card of the students contains all the information required to identify that students similarly process control block is actually a type of identity card for the process whenever a new process is created according to the definition described in the previous slide whenever a new process is created a pcb is also uh, created and associated to each process now what is pcb it contains all the information regarding the process it has multiple fields and the definition and introduction of the fields will be coming in the next slide so whenever cpu uh or whenever a to be precise whenever a process is created a pcb is also created it is directly created and managed by operating system and it is created for each process the process control block is the key tool that enables the operating system to support multiple process and to provide for multi processing we say that we keep more than one program in the memory at the same time in order to to execute them simultaneously now how operating system will identify these simultaneous program how will it differentiate between these programs and the resources assigned to it this is actually the help of from the help of process control block each process control block is associated with a single process and it contains all the necessary information regarding that uh, single process now let's have a look at the fields of the process control block well some of the most important fields which every pcb uh, associated with a process has is identifier this is actually the unique identifier of the process its state its priority the program counter memory pointers context data input output status information accounting information and many more but these are the most important um, uh, fields in the process control block so now let's have a look at them one by one what is a identifier a unique identifier associated with this process to distinguish it from all other process it's like the primary key in a table which cannot be duplicated neither it can be null 
just like the students in a classroom or in a college have their own registration number no two students can have the same registration number so similarly every process has its own identifier and that's the identity of the process for the operating system by state we mean whether the process is currently executing is it is in the running state or it is blocked or we are going to discuss the different states of a process in the next lecture probably priority relates to the priority level relative to other processes like how much priority does the current process have over the other processes that are also residing in the memory program counter the address of the next instruction in the program to be executed so that are uh, that is also stored in the PCB and it's continuously being updated in the PCB. Memory pointers includes pointer to the program code and data associated with the process plus any memory block shared with other process. So basically it actually points to the part of the memories or the portion of the memories being used or being shared by the current processes with other processes or maybe in individual capacity. Context data these are the data that are present in registers in the processor while the process is executing now that is very very important because um, in multi tasking operating system or in time sharing operating system when a process comes out of the processor before being uh, before being completed and terminated now at that time we need to store the values that are present currently in the register related to that process so all these processes or all these uh, um, processes when they are taken out of the processor their uh, currently used values of the registers are actually stored and referred to in the PCB and later on when these processes will be reloaded in the memory that is actually called context switching when the context of one process is taken out from the processor and stored in its PCB and the context of other process is taken from its PCB and loaded into the processor that is called uh, context switch so when uh, the context is loaded in the processor all the values all the previously saved register values are reloaded into the register so that the program execution may start from the point from where it ended previously input output status information it includes outstanding input output request are your devices assigned to the process a list of file used by the process and so on accounts and information now this is very important it includes the amount of processor time and clock time used time limits and so on means how much from how much time this process is being kept in the memory how for how much time this process has already been executed in the processor and what is the time limit for the, all the timing details are stored in the accounting information so let's have a look at what a context switch is now you can see there are two process p0 and p1 Now, the, in the very start, process P0 is getting executed. Now, it has been interrupted and now it has to be taken out of the CPU. So, before take, being taken out of the CPU, its context is being saved into PCB0. Like PCB0 referred to the process control block associated with process0. So, its context will be saved into its pcb now after the cpu gets idle and now it's time to re-execute the P, uh, pcb uh, or uh, i should say it's time to execute another process so you can see reload state from pcb1 now the already stored context of pcb1 by pcb1 we means the pro uh, the process control block associated with the process one so now it is loaded as i uh, just described in the previous slide now the context of pcb1 is loaded from uh, the pcb into the processor after that when this program has uh, gets executed and now uh, sorry and now it has to be taken out now it has to be taken out of the processor so its context will be again save in the pcb1 and uh, when the process 0 has to be executed uh, its context will be actually reloaded from pcb0 by what does we mean by the context the context means all this information uh, which is stored in the pcb associated with a relevant 
process so that's how the pcb works i hope uh, it is clear if you have any confusion you can write me down i will try my best to answer it please do not forget to subscribe to my youtube channel for further it and cs tutorials thank you again